Have you ever dreamed of hitting the North Shore, though, without hitting traffic? Well, you're in luck. A passenger train from the Twin Cities to Duluth and back is now set to become reality. In this session's transportation bill, Minnesota lawmakers approved nearly $200 million towards the project, unlocking federal funds that will cover the other 80% of the project. So when will it be ready? How much will it cost and how will it all work? We found out. The captivating beauty of Minnesota's North Shore is set to become even more accessible with the Northern Lights Express. The Northern Lights Express is a passenger rail line connecting the Twin Cities to Duluth. The line goes from the Twin Cities to the Twin Ports with stops in Minneapolis, Coon Rapids, Cambridge, Hinkley, and Superior, Wisconsin. It'll be about the same amount of time as uh, driving up to Duluth. However, you're not going to have to worry about construction along the way or traffic, and you certainly aren't going to have to sit there focusing on 35W. The train will go 90 miles an hour and make four round trips a day. A one way from Minneapolis to Duluth would cost 30 to 35 bucks and take about two and a half hours. Mindad is expecting at least 700,000 people to ride it in the first year, and they expect ridership to eventually grow to a million passengers a year. As so you think about veterans up along the North Shore who will now be able to reliably get down to the VA. Uh, through this method, you think about the students up at UMD or down here in the Twin Cities to be able to get back and forth to their families. So who will pay for it and when will it be ready? MnDOT says construction should cost about $592 million. Federal funds will cover 80% of the cost with the state picking up the other 20. The group behind the project says the $12 million from rider fares will cover about 63% of the operating costs. The state of Minnesota will fund the rest. The line will use some existing BNSF railway tracks that are in use, speeding up the timeline and lowering startup costs. You'll be able to get your first ticket in about four to five years. Johnson says the hope is not only to cut down on traffic, but emissions too, to meet climate goals. The Northern Lights Express Alliance says rail is second only to ferry boats for lowest carbon footprint per passenger mile. There's just uh, a lot to love all across the board with this project. So I'll hop into some criticisms here. So during the project, some people um, worried about costs, of course, potential delays. I think people are a little burned by the mm -hmm. light rail experience. Southwest yeah. light rail, But they're yep. using yep. a lot of existing infrastructure, so it's going to be a, a bit of a different experience. Um, and then also worried about having to subsidize the cost um, if, you know, ridership isn't as high as they're anticipating. And then, so those are some of the criticisms. But um, certainly some economic Pluses, they think that um, a dollar ten to a dollar sixty nine for every dollar invested would come back. Um, a lot of construction jobs, so the list kind of goes on and on of you know the pluses of this you, project. You hit the nail on the head though with how people have had to weather all the issues with Southwest Light Rail. Yeah, the fact that you said BNSF rail, the, the, the infrastructure is there, just how we get the money involved, but you don't have to worry about, oh, we're gonna need another $200 million for so that. Right, so they're buying the new train cars, they're creating some new stations, but as far as like the tracks themselves, um, those are there. Those are <laughs> so they're building some like kind of pull off sites, if you will, um, a little bit less involved of it's, a project. You kind of think about it and you're like, I'm. I'm kind of surprised this hasn't happened before. Like, I agree I'm surprised with that. That, that we're talking about this right now yes. in 2023. Well, two big hubs, and think about it the train goes both ways. So it's not just us getting up to Duluth, but likewise yeah. to come down for like a big event or something. So yeah. the train goes both ways. Four to five years. Yes. Start counting down, everybody. Yeah.